Hello! Now we're going to talk about such a wonderful device as Relay. Relays are used to commute high voltage with the help of a small voltage. The relay we used is called the Relay Thunder. It has a DIN rail mount. It has an operating voltage of contact throwing of 12 volt. It can commutate from any number up to 220 volts. It works as follows. In the lower block, it is called a com. The power supply is connected. Normally open contact and normally closed contact are connected to the element that we will control. Thanks to the coil with the power supply of 12 volts, we can turn the device on or off or replace one device with another one. And now I'm going to demonstrate this. In order for the device to turn on and turn off the light, I have to do the following. First, connect 220 volts power to the lower terminal of the relay. After this is done, it is necessary to connect the light bulb we want to control to the power supply. If I want the light to light up, then I connect the power to the normally open contact. That is, when I turn the power of 220 volts in the socket, nothing will happen. But as soon as I plug the 12 volt power supply into the relay, contacts will be thrown and the normally open contact will close with the COM contact. For this, I connect the coil's power to the terminal. When When 12 volts power is applied, the lower and upper plates are switched and the light turns on. When the voltage is removed, the light turns off. Say if I have a puzzle in the ER, you have to turn off the general light and turn on the ultraviolet lamp. To do this, you have to connect the device that you will manage. The normally closed common light must be turned on and the device we need to turn on, for example, a 220 volt ultraviolet lamp is normally closed. What do we get? At power supply 220 volts, we have this terminal normally closed with COM connected. If I power the relay device, then the contacts will be thrown. The main light will turn off. And the light of the ultraviolet lamp, for example, will work. The next thing I want to tell you about the relay. The power supply has to necessarily be 220 volts. And the devices controlled by the relay must also be 220 volts. You can connect any power to the COM block. The main thing is that this power supply corresponds to the normal power supply for the device. For example, with the help of the relay, you can connect a power of 12 volts to the lower terminal to make the upper terminal power the magnetic lock, to connect an LED tape to the middle terminal. And when we have the ER on, 12 volts will be powered to the lower terminal. Then the LED light will be around the door and the door will be closed. The light will be turned off but the magnetic lock will be closed. When we power the coil, the coil throws the contacts and we have the door highlighted and the door opens. So this is a budgetary special effect with the help of such a relay device. Thanks for attention.